Welcome to the Westchester Magazine Test Kitchen. My name is Jacqueline Kalil and I am here with Chef Philip McGroth. And today we're going to be making a delicious dessert. So very simple ingredients, a really simple method. I'm gonna crack the egg. Um, and add the butter. Okay. Then you can give me a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of the salt. Nope. One. Mm -hmm. The reason why you see that they have that little lip here. Oh, you can just like. This way you take it mm -hmm. and you nice. drag it. Baking is a science. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow the formula exactly, right. it won't come out correctly. Which happens to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing, quarter teaspoon of salt. Which doesn't have that fancy lip. <laughs> Then we'll put in the, uh, the uh, nuts, oats, and the sugar. There you go. And the sugar. And we'll mix this together. What you want to do with this, it looks like a very dry cookie almost. Right. So what you have to do, let it sit for about a half hour or so, or you could again make this the day before. Because what has to happen is the oats have to uh, absorb the liquid, the mm -hmm. butter, and the egg, so it comes out more like a batter. You'll see how this got a little thicker. Yeah, definitely. So the texture has changed. Mm -hmm. That means that the um, the oats have absorbed a lot of the liquid. These cookies will spread. So if you kind of make them mm -hmm. circular to begin with, you we'll want it with a circle. Pop these in the oven, and when they come out, what they'll do is they'll spread and pretty much come out like a little gaufrette or like a, um, a lace cookie. They're pretty much ready. They look so good. Come in. Okay. See how they how much they've spread, right? And you see how they've kind of got that little mm -hmm. lacy look to them. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do now is let them rest for about. You know, about 10 minutes or so until they're cooled. Otherwise, right now, they're still kind of molten, so you couldn't pick them up. So as they cool, they'll crisp up, and then we'll assemble our uh, aluminum folio. So you want the edges to be brown, unlike most cookies, right? Yeah, just a little brown, okay. because little what that brown. does, the caramelization of it mm -hmm. gives it a really cool flavor. So the idea is you make the cookies is the layers, okay? Then we're just gonna put, I mean, you don't wanna go too crazy. A couple of those. A few berries. Put a couple of blueberries in there too. Sprinkle them on. Them on. Them on. Make sure it's kind of level. Mm -hmm. So you just pat it down a little bit. Then we'll take another of our cookie layers. Put that on top. Then repeat. All right. A couple more berries. And actually, what you can do, which is really cool, is set up a bar. A bar. Have your cookies, mm -hmm. have the sorbet, have the berries, have the yogurt, have the whipped cream, have all the stuff, mm -hmm. and let people make their own. Two tablespoons of chocolate morsels, if you like bittersweet, sweet, whatever you like, and about a half a teaspoon of heavy cream. Mix them together, put them in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and you've got chocolate sauce. There's a little yeah. tap of powdered sugar on top. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Nice. It's beautiful. There we are.